Hey guys, I am giving you guys a tour of the Valencia, Spain airport here. It's a fairly small airport. It uh, does have flights to Europe. Yeah, there's Amsterdam, Bologna, Ibiza, Madrid, many Madrid. I'm taking the Tenerife flight, Rome, Milan, Seville. So it's kind of regional to Europe. Uh, if you want to get here, you need to take the 150 bus. It's very easy to get that. You can also take the, the subway, which is, the bus is $1.50 a euro cents. The subway is like three fifty. so I just went ahead and took the bus since I've got plenty of time here. There's the bathroom, which is all the way on the right side. You got the vending machines right there, which is a ripoff. It's like two euros for a snack. And then over here, you got Iberia Airlines. You can see that there's not a huge amount of people around here checking in. It's probably going to be picking up a little bit uh, later on in the afternoon. So it's kind of like Phnom Penh. Actually, Phnom Penh is a bit smaller than here. You can see you've got about 30-something gate, 34 gates, I think. And there's another guy with a bike. <clears throat> they don't have that many electrical plugs here, which is hard, kind of hard to plug in your uh, phone and things like that. Which, what that tells me is this airport was probably built in the 1990s, you know, where people don't have, or before that, you know, when people don't have a lot of, you know, gadgets that they haul around. Uh, very, very inconvenient, and probably time for an update there to install some new plugs here. So there's some airlines. The airlines here are like, you know, Lufthansa, Air France, uh, <clears throat> Ryanair. Wizz Air, I'm not sure. They, no, no, they don't fly here. Wizz, not Wizz Air. Um, Ryanair has a lot of the low cost. That's who I'm taking. So we'll see how, how good they are or bad. Uh, you've got Iberia. But you can see that there's not a lot of shopping or anything like that here, you know. So they usually have like a mall at the airport, you know, a lot of the newer. Uh, so here, here we go at the end of this is Ryanair. Counter number 35, Ryanair. Ryanair. So it may be that, you know, partially due to the coronavirus that there's not that many people flying right now. You know, not as much as there normally would, say, two years ago. Let's see what we got over here. So this side is the actual entry for the security. fast lane. I'll be going through the slow lane and I'm hoping that they don't overcharge my bag there. Okay, so they do have some shopping in, inside the terminal there, which is probably way overpriced. It's got an ATM there. And Ryanair is, it is a cashless airline, so just keep that in mind if you are expecting to bring your cash to the airport, you know. So there's another air, airline right there, it's called Vuling, and they're actually a low-cost Spanish airline. 
and there's some flights by them that they're more expensive than Ryanair. <clears throat> Got Turkish Airlines, so if you want to go to Istanbul, uh, Swiss Airlines, Lufthansa. <clears throat> Aeroflot. And usually ones like Turkish Airlines and Aeroflot, they like might have a couple of flights a week, you know, so they don't have that many, you know. If you're going to Madrid, then you got like six flights a day or something like that. So yeah, this is nothing in comparison to say Frankfurt or JFK Airport or my hometown, which is Charlotte Douglas International Airport. They have a lot of domestic connections and the airport's massive. It's like top 10 in the U.S. now. Atlanta, you know, Atlanta is the, I think, the number one in the world, or at least it was before coronavirus, right? Now it's, might be behind some others. So the 150 bus just dropped me off directly in front of the terminal here. There's parking garage across the street. Um, Not really a lot to the airport. I mean, the upper part of it is departures. The lower part is arrivals. Alright, I'm going to catch you guys on the other side.